Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico and I live up in the mountains of Wyoming. Uh, this is a shipping video. So I've been gone a couple days. Um, so we do have 14 items going out, but it is for two or three days, which this is what I like to have for one day. So I feel like my sales are still slow. Most of it is because I have not been doing my part. Um, I've been trying, but I've been really busy with other things and uh, not acceptable because I do consider myself full-time eBay and I can't consider myself that if I can't live off it, you know, if I chose to quit my day job. So uh, anyway, it's still money, it's good. I've got about 40 items I will be launching today from my virtual assistant. Uh, he has them done and in my drafts. So today I'm just gonna do a huge, massive cleanup. Uh, we're going to Canada in a week from Monday, so I have about nine days to clean my life up and I work 40 hours at the, you know, at the hospital extended care up there, up here. So I have to find those 40 hours plus every evening when I come home to even have my store be what I want it to be when I'm gone. Uh, I'm going to have to really hit it hard. Um, I do have a friend who um, ships for me. So uh, I don't know, guys. What am I supposed to do on this? I'll have to watch other YouTubers. Do you want me to look straight at the camera? Sorry, I'm not. I, I'm looking at my screen, and maybe I need to be looking at you. Sorry, I'll have to look at that and see if that's what you do, or is that creepy? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm going to get shipping, and uh, I only have one hour on Saturday mornings to go to the mail uh, here in, in my little town. So I have to have these there by 930, and it's 828. So I better get moving. All right, I am going to do a haul video for you guys today because I don't even know what eBay stuff I have to sell this week and when I'm gone. I need to figure it out. All right, this first item doo -doo -doo, is a Royal Robin shirt. I just listed this. Um, and actually, I did not put the right title in there. Um, I missed... Um, this is a special kind of... Royal Robins shirt. Let me see if you can see the texture. Um, I listed my other one correctly. You can see that little subtle pattern and it's not it's not raised. It's not a raised pattern but within the Royal Robins line there is a name for this and I don't know why I missed that. Um, let me go look real quick in my solds and I will tell you it's not puckered. It's got a different name. I think it's important enough that I want you to know. Let me look in my drafts. I don't think I have the name of what it is in here. I find them a lot and they sell for over $20. So to me, it's a bolo, especially if you're getting it at the bins. Okay, so it is pucker. It's a Royal Robins men's pucker shirt and then in blue or green or whatever. So um, make sure and look for those. Royal Robins is iffy to me. It depends if it's in bigger sizes or um, more really like cargo pants. I can do okay in them, uh, but I don't pick up all Royal Robins. Certainly not in a smaller medium, I would not. But um, these pucker shirts do really good. And I didn't even get this one into the title, but someone recognized it or they bought the shirt for what I had it up for. Uh, this is a large, I've only had this shirt since August 3rd, and today is the 5th, so I just listed this two days ago, and uh, it sold for $22.10 plus shipping, so $29.09. I did promote this, but they did not use my coupon. So yeah, today is actually my birthday. I am 54 years old. We partied hardy last night. Uh, my brother made me this uh, amazing chocolate cake. Um, the frosting has Ovaltine and three sticks of butter. So if that tells you what kind of frosting that is, what kind of a batch of frosting has three sticks of butter? So anyway, it was very, very, very good. Um, and we had fun, but now I gotta work on my birthday. I don't get two days off, I get one. Um, when you're self-employed and a nurse, you don't get like a whole weekend birthday bash. Not yet, someday in my life, I guess. All right, so this is going to Putney, Vermont. Oh, I wanna see Vermont so bad. The turning of the leaves. Um, I've seen the turning of the leaves in Michigan, but never like in Vermont, so I will get there. 
Um, this is going to cost $5.17 and I charged $6.99. Uh, we have two colors and sometimes three in Wyoming, but we do not have the bright reds. We don't have the oranges very often, at least not where I live. Um, to me, the closest place to go see that, now maybe Utah does, I don't know. I've got to check that out, but to me, it's more like Michigan, Vermont, um, you know, up there. We are going to Michigan in a week, but it's not uh, fall yet, so... We're dropping my dad, my dear old dad. He's 76. We're dropping him off in Michigan, and he'll rent a car and go see a lot of uh, relatives. I really wish I could do that part of the trip with him, too. It would mean the world to him. So maybe, you know, soon I need to go just go with him and just do that. But my husband has not seen his Canadian relatives for literally over five years, some of them more like 10 years. Um because of COVID and just different life happenings. And uh, we, I need to get him up there. Some of his aunts are in their late 80s. And, you know, this could be our last time. I, I hope not, but it could be. Um, this is a clearance item. Um, this is number 4,039. I'm on the 5,800s. So I thought these were really cute. And I do pretty good with Lauren Conrad in the kind of peasant shirts. In bigger sizes so I like Lauren Conrad these are a size 10 and they have kind of a tapestry but they are green and they are floral and I think I just probably made a misjudgment and they are tapered and I think now tapered is not in so I've had these I I want to say for over a year guys I don't know um, I messed with the listing and fixed it on July 12th and it still took a month to sell. Um, so anyway, they use my coupon. They use promoted listings. It's $6.71 minus all of that. And so $12.25 all in. And I'm fine. You know, I gave a customer a good deal. Maybe they'll come back. But I clearanced it out. I was going to consign these um, really, really soon if they didn't, um, you know, if they didn't get gone. All right, so 13 ounces, and these are going to Hay Fork, California. Uh, it's, I charged $6.99, and it's going to cost $6.22. So good riddance. You know, sometimes you take a chance, and I don't do it real often, but um, sometimes I'll think, well, that's really cute, and it's coming out of the bins. I'll try it, um, and it did not work out this time. <laughs> Don't buy green Lauren Conrad pants that are tapered. Do not do it. Okay. All right. This is a pair of Gramici jeans. I love Gramici in certain things. I do really, really well. Um, these I have not had that long uh, since May 14th, but there is a faint but visible darker colored area or stain on the right leg on the inner side of the, what, on the inner side of the thigh. So this was such a faint stain, so faint that even in my photos I put, you know, it's really hard for it to show up in the photos. But, you know, I think any flaw, you either don't mention it, which I don't think is a good idea, um, you know, and it might just be a real subtle variation in the fabric or whatever. But anyway, these would have been like 25, 30 bucks. I would not have taken less than that. But I've had these going on, let's see, June, July, you know, two months going on two and a half. Um, and nobody wanted them just because of that little tiny stain. Um, so anyway, I took $9.99 plus shipping, so $19.74. They did sell with promoted listings, um, but no coupon. You know, I, I could have held out probably for $30 even with that little stain, um, but I just could see that, you know, no one was willing to, to buy them. And I missed it. I'm sure it's something that I missed when I was picking up picking them up because it is that subtle. So these are uh, way over a pound, so they're going priority padded flat rate. They are going to New Albany, Ohio. I charged $9.75 and they're going to cost $8.30.
Yep, so I'm really excited, but I'm trying to uh, do not only my listings for the weekend and this week, plus work 40 hours, but I really, really am determined to um, have listings going up while I'm gone. Now, my dear friend is going to ship for me. She may not ship every day, so I'm going to put myself on like seven days off at a time just in case, um, you know, something happens. Um, but... Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to do that and then I'll just back it back down every time she ships and then it's getting closer to the time that we come back. I'll just back it back down. Now, this is a really old item. As you know, if you've watched my channel for very long, I'm clearancing out a bunch of stuff that I would never pick up again. Now, the Gramici jeans, I would definitely pick up again, just not with that little tiny stain because it affected the price. This pair of Fusai jeans, um, they're 30 by 30. Um, I think they're straight leg. They, yeah, they're straight leg. So I don't know why um, they didn't sell or why I picked them up. You know, I've never heard of people saying this is a bolo. It must have just been in a, out of the bins. And maybe I thought, okay, I can get 10 or $12. But that did not work out. But I've had these over a year and a half. They could be from that garage sale where, um, that estate sale where she gave me, you know, tubs and tubs and tubs of jeans. And I just decided to list them, but it was not a good idea. They just aren't the right style right now. So anyway, I was going to consign these this fall, but I took $1.99 plus shipping, so $11.98. I just want them out of my store. Um, I believe, I'm a believer that eBay looks at your whole store as one entity and looks at the sales velocity of your whole store as a single thing. So if you have really fast selling items, which I am doing now, and you still don't take care of these older items, my opinion, uh, based on, you know, I've been on eBay over 20 years, my opinion is that it just really um, slows down your faster things, your better things. That's, and, and you're bringing the wrong kind of customer who wants things that just aren't even popular and so um, I can't wait till this job is done. Um, let's see, this is going to Red Oak, Iowa. Uh, I charged $9.99 and it's going to cost $8.30. You know, I've been trying to be patient with the process. My inclination was to go to the bins, get all nice, new, better items, and then just delete hundreds and hundreds of items. But that's an expensive thing to do because even on this one, like I'm not making money, but on some of the older items, I had them at 75 and they're worth 35, you know, or I, or I could get 35 because they just weren't as popular of a style, but they were still, um, you know, worth me selling. So I'm trying to by hand go through and find the really expensive stuff. That's what I'm trying to work on. All right, this is even an older item. Now, I struggle with Travis Matthew. I, I do not buy a lot of Travis Matthew anymore. This is a men's large, so the size is right. Um, Travis Matthew is good. Um, it's just a t-shirt, though. It's made out of modal. You know, modal is a popular kind of um, fabric. Oops, sorry, my phone is ringing. Oh, that's my alarm. I don't know why I had an alarm at 8.40. I never sleep in that long. Who knows? I know tonight I am doing Zoom with my family, but I don't know what that one's about. Anyway, guys, um, I do pick up Travis Matthew if it has golf club logos on it, especially uh, uh, not uh, Scotty Cameron, I think it is, or Scotty, yeah, Scotty Cameron, isn't it? Um I definitely pick those up, but I'm very careful what I pick up in Travis Matthew now. Um, I think the patterned kind of polo shirts, maybe, you know, um, that are a little bit more distinctive, but I'm trying to get $25 for each item I sell, and so uh, it eliminated a lot of Travis Matthew. So on this one, uh, let me see if it says how long I've had this. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It says a repeat buyer. Let me make sure they didn't buy two things today. Um, I have had it listed this time since May 14th, so I did a big edit then. Let me see if this is a combined order. I missed that it said repeat buyer. Let me look down here. Or it may just be someone from before. Yeah, I don't see any other orders from this person. So, okay. So that 
answers that. But it, it's, it, it is nice that it says repeat buyer. That means they came back to my store. Even if it is for clearance, they can take my clearance. That helps me out. So I've had it relisted since May 14th. I can guarantee you I've had this well over a year, if not longer, probably two because of the number. This is like 3,000 items ago, and I listed about 3,000 items last year. So this is probably two, <laughs> two, uh, two years going on. So I took five bucks plus shipping, so 12.52. They did not use promoted listings or a coupon. So that's good that they didn't use my coupon. All right. I'm talking, I know this is like, it's right at seven. It says exactly seven. Some people put seven. I put eight. I round up in case my scale is off. I don't want to mess with that from the post office. So um, this is going to Rome, New York. I charged a $6.95 and it's going to cost $4.31. There's a dog barking outside. I'm like, what is that? So yeah, I'm glad to see this older stuff going. I have a 50% off sale on this really, really old stuff. I'm just trying to recoup my initial $1, $2, $3 investment. I'm trying to get my sales velocity up. That shows eBay that I'm selling it. So I would be more than happy just to pull this off and, and uh, take it to consignment. But I think it is better with every item that I can get to move to have that sales velocity. So eBay sees it as, you know, hey, another sale, and you took the offer the customer gave you. So it's still helping my store, even though I don't recommend doing this. It doesn't help my store enough that I'm saying go do that. I'm just saying. All right, this is a little bit of an older item. This is a merino wool sweater. Let me see what this is about here. Okay, a Wilford sweater. This is a woman's beige merino pullover um wilford is normally a really good name i don't think i'm going to pull this all the way out because i have it nicely folded in there but you can see it's a nice sweater um but it did have a stain on it a pretty substantial stain would not do that again on a wilford um i think i thought well this is such a high-end brand maybe i should go ahead and pick it up even with the stain it did not it wasn't worth it so let me see how long I've had this. I have had this this time since March 7th. So if you look through Wilford, W-I-L-F-R-E-D, you'll see a lot of $30 and $40 sweaters. But, you know, now even that I'm looking at it, I see a lot of $10 sweaters that don't have flaws. So I think I had heard about the brand, but I got to the, I got to the game late, put it that way. Um, that one is out. Where is my tape gun? Um, so I just got to the to that late. Wilford used to be a, kind of a bolo, I think. Um, so anyway, this one is padded flat rate. Okay, so this is going to Federal Way, Washington. I charged nine seventy five. It's going to cost eight thirty. I'm going to try to make this as flat as I can. It is 8.44. I'm going to make it to the post office today. I should have shipped Thursday and Friday, but we left Wednesday night. I had to take my mom to a dentist appointment. Um, I should have probably asked my friend to come over and ship because I have an overdue shipping thing, which I don't like to do, but I do have the volume to do it once in a while. Um, I don't recommend it. I like to ship same day, honestly. Um... But right now, my life just doesn't allow me to do that. So I do have a late, late one going out. I don't know if this is the one. Okay, so this is a pair of, let me make sure the number's right, because I have two jewelry pieces. This is number 5725. I haven't had these very long. Um, sorry, guys, they are wrapped. I do bubble wrap my earrings. I don't know if you can see those. Let me see if you can see anything. They're really, they're like a full big pearl with gold around them. And I'm sorry I can't show them to you. I just, I pre-package because my husband is kind of my shipper now um, on normal days. He shipped by himself the other day, so we'll see. <laughs> um, you know, I haven't had him do that, but I was at work and he had three more orders. And, you know, he's good at it. He's smart enough, that's for sure. So anyway, these are a consignment item. So what I have in the title is Hattie Carnegie Earrings, White Milk Glass Bobble, Cabochon Signed Clip and Vintage. So I'm going to write that down so I can put that in my title. 
when I put when I do this YouTube. And then I have a pair of Miriam Haskell earrings going out too for my client. She's going to be happy with her check this week because I'm paying her for that big boat that sold. The guy gave us good feedback. I sold it for um, eight hundred and seventy-five bucks or something plus shipping. And then minus the signature confirmation and insurance, extra insurance and all that through UPS. He got it. At first, he messaged me and he's like, where's the box to the motor? It's in the pictures. And he was kind of miffed. And then he, you know, and before I ever saw that one, thankfully, he messaged me again and said, oh, no, I found it. Because I bubble wrapped the box itself. Like, the box itself is half of the item for some of these people. So he just must have thought that was packing. And so I'm like, oh. Goodness, because I don't, I, I don't want to return on that, obviously. Um, so it worked out well, but I got to pay her like six hundred dollars for her share of that boat, and then all this jewelry. So she'll be super happy with her check this week. Anyway, um, this is a twenty-seven dollar sale, all in. Um, I charged four ninety-nine for shipping. I don't know why I had it so low. Oh, I see, because. Um, I have the wrong weight in here. I'm like, why is it going to cost six bucks? So this weighs only three ounces. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, it's not an expensive enough jewelry piece that I'm going to, you know, um, uh, put insurance on it. Uh, so it's only going to cost three ninety seven, and I charged four ninety nine. This is going to Forest Hills, New York. I love these earrings. I love a lot of these jewelry pieces that I'm listing, but they're clip, and I just have never gotten used to that. I have pierced ears. I don't think I could get used to clip earrings. Otherwise, I would have bought certain pairs that aren't worth that much that I really like, but I don't want to convert them. I know there's easy conversion things, I'm sure, but... So yeah, after I'm done, I'll print out all of her stuff and get her check ready. And then I need to pay my son for some things of his that have sold. And I need to get all of that done. And then I'll do it again Saturday, right before I leave for vacation. And then they'll have to wait two weeks after that. So that I can, because I'll be gone and I won't really have access to a printer. I mean, I could go downstairs in the um, hotel, I'm sure. But All right, this is a good sale, finally. This is one of those items that I've had for 1,400 items ago, and it just got away from me. I did not get in and edit it like I normally would. Um, I picked these up probably a year ago. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. I wish that there was a way, even if you end and sell similar, to show like when you initially listed something. That would really help me out for the sake of my videos. It doesn't technically matter. So this time, since I edited it last, I've had it since July 25th. So, you know, once I got in there, got the price right, re-looked at it. I don't believe I changed the title. I think my title was good already. Um, anyway, it sold for $34.99 plus shipping, so $45.24. I have another by the same brand of Needle Treasures. It's very similar. I also edited it and messed with it. Christmas is closer now. Maybe I bought it after Christmas, and that's why it just... You know, it's like six, seven months old, but maybe I just missed Christmas. That's possible. So anyway, um, no promotions of any kind were used on this. I just finally got the editing correct on the price. So let's see. I told them I was shipping this via priority, and it's only nine ounces. I don't know why, but I think because I put like 60 bucks on it initially, maybe. Um, I think that they could go for that if I waited longer, but I'm just glad to get $34 for something I bought like eight months ago. Uh, this is going to Newcastle, Delaware, so it's going to cost $9.15, and I charged $10.25. That's the kind of thing I'm trying to find in my inventory. I'm not as happy about the $2 clearance sales, but this is clearance too, and this is good money. More money for my vacation in Niagara Falls. So my... Um, husband's grandmother and all of his family um, live in Niagara Falls, Canada. Not all of his family, but a huge portion. So when we first got married, I mean, I was young and just took it for granted. Yeah, let's go to Niagara Falls and walk down by the falls. And his grandmother literally had her house two blocks from Niagara Falls. She had lived there for many, many, many years. Um, and, uh, you know, 
I, I wouldn't say it was before the Falls was a thing. I think Niagara Falls has always been, you know, something to go see. But anyway, um, and some of his family did quite well in their life by having those little souvenir shops in Niagara Falls. Um, some of his family made their whole entire living doing that. And um, so I kind of took it for granted, you know, just to walk down by Niagara Falls. And um, now we just haven't been able to get back as much. You know, we have family in other places and stuff. And let me show you this. I'm talking, 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 and i got to hurry. need to quit talking. I'll talk to you during my um, haul video. Um, this is Topo Designs. It's a size medium. I always pick this brand up. Let me make sure you can see it. It is a bolo to me. It's a Colorado company. There's a store in Fort Collins. There's a store in the Denver airport. DIA has a Topo Design store. Um, it sells immediately for me. I pick it up in small, medium, large with stains. I would pick it up and still get $12, I guarantee you. It's kind of an outdoor hiking, like a Boulder, Colorado type thing. Um, I don't know where the initial store was. I want to say Boulder. But anyway, this is just a simple button-down flannel shirt. They get missed at the Denver bins all the time. A lot of people don't know about these. Um, so this is only a medium. And uh, they did use my coupon for 27% off, but I sold it for $24.14 all in. Sorry, guys. I got to tell my son just a second. I'm rushing to the mail. Um, let me tell him that. Um, he's probably out garage selling without me. Um, I just can't do it today. Um, I gotta, <laughs> gotta get caught up and get all this great stuff that I've been accumulating listed. Then I can have a nice vacation. Um, this is going to Grand Marais, Minnesota. Uh, I charged $6.99 and it's going to cost $6.22. Plus, I'm behind on my videos for you guys. I keep promising you a haul. I think it's been going on like three weeks. I need to do the haul for myself because like I said, I don't know what is eBayable out of there and what I bought for consignment. And uh, so I, yeah, I can't go garage selling today. We did go garage selling yesterday a little bit because we had to go to um, Colorado to uh, get my son's car fixed and oil changes and uh, we just had a day out kind of for my birthday. We just kind of got to the neighborhood sales too late. You know, we did not find, I don't think any of us bought anything that was for the business at all. Okay, this is a Miriam Haskell um, pair of earrings. These are mid-century modern. I don't think you're going to be able to see them because I also have these bubble wrapped. They are round, faux pearl, screw-on, mid-century modern, signed, gold-toned earrings, and they are Miriam Haskell. Uh, they did not use any promotions. These sold for $22.50 plus shipping, so $31.74. Okay. Okay, three ounces. I slept in last night, guys. I had gone, like, I don't know, I want to say five nights on five hours of sleep or less. Not really because of the business, just working, trying to clean my house, just stuff that needed done. So I slept, like, I don't know, what is it? I woke up at six-something on my own. So almost eight hours. I was tired. Um, this is going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I charged $6.99 and it's going to cost $3.75. And this is my consignment client's earrings. And I have hundreds of more, hundreds of more, I, is that right? Hundreds more pair. I don't know how you say it. I'm confused for a minute. Anyway, I have hundreds of items uh, yet to go. I know that's proper. And uh, I don't know, they aren't all worth $20 singly. So my thing is... If they're worth under $15, we are putting them in a, bulk, a big bulk jewelry lot, which I want to get listed, and I'll put that on auction. And then if they're worth over $20, then I'm willing to sell it as a single item. So that's what we're doing on that. Okay, so let me see which item sold first. Okay, so this is not the right item. Um... Let me show you. 
So we had four of these. That's why my husband pulled the single one that I actually had packaged and ready to go. But we had four of these. My son found these, I want to say at the thrift, they are not outdated. And um, he told me yesterday, I want to say he paid like five bucks a piece, you know, 20, 25 for all of them, all four. And for some reason, this person just wanted three. I don't know why, instead of four. Um, but anyway, he paid us $109.25 all in, including shipping for the three. So after I get off of here, I'm going to package these up real quick. They are going to, let me see here. Mm -hmm. They're going to Lebanon, Pennsylvania, so as far away as they can go. I charged 20, well, eBay charged them $22 for shipping since, you know, it didn't combine the shipping. So I'll weigh these, put them in a box, and I will refund him some shipping because shipping, <coughs> excuse me, should be around 13 So I'll probably refund him $10. But that is that. And this is an Emily and Finn dress. This is really cute. This is a cactus dress. Emily and Finn out of the bins, I would say, is a bolo, and maybe new at tags is a bolo. This one I used my consignment money in Denver to buy. I want to say I paid like eight or nine dollars. So if it had not been free consignment money, I probably would not have picked this up except in the bins. This is a woman's large. It's really cute. It's just not my style, or I would have considered wearing it. Um, I did finally take an offer. I've had this since, I've had it a while, since June 15th. So this is going on August 5th. I just decided, you know, maybe I'm not going to get that $35, $40 I wanted. Um, it is sleeveless, so coming up into, I mean, it's not winter yet, but it's coming up into fall. And I just thought, you know, this is still a great price. So I took 20 bucks plus shipping, so $28.26, and they did not use any promotions. If I saw this at the bins, it would definitely be a pickup, but I would not pay like eight or nine dollars of my consignment money again, even though, like I said, I get that stuff for free by just going in and taking them other stuff that they like out of the bins. So if you count how many bins items I had to sell to get this money, to buy this for nine dollars, it was probably like three or four dollars in bins items. So uh, nine ounces going to Williamsville, New York. Um, it's going to cost five seventeen, and I charged six ninety nine. Whew, it is hot down in my office. I have two fans um, upstairs. We have um, window air conditioners, which actually for Wyoming make it really, really nice and cool. Just those two things. I think it's going to get up to like seventy five today. Is all. Um, but down here, um, I have to run my fans, but they're too loud when I'm talking on YouTube. Too loud. Okay, let's make this flat. All right, what do we have here? My husband pulls the order, so sometimes I don't even know what we got. Okay, this is already wrapped, and so again, I apologize. I can't show you. I know it's not as interesting of a of a video everything I sell is in my haul video so if you ever want to you know see what kind of things I'm selling that are wrapped the earrings a lot of that stuff you can go back and see in there so this is an Inesco little figure he's only about this big and he's the kiwi koala bear so um, you will see in one of my hard goods haul videos where we got about 11 of these little anthropomorphic figures so they look like a fruit or a vegetable plus they look like the animal and they're darling they're very distinctive so if you can learn to see them and you're getting them for a dollar a piece they're well worth picking up um, there's the banana that we sold for $85 that was the most expensive one but anyway this one is the kiwi koala bear um, it sold for $20 plus shipping so $30 and 60 cents and my son paid I want to say $15 for all 12 or 11 or whatever we ended up with and, um, you know, we definitely made our money back just on the banana guy. So this is going to Keele, Wisconsin. I charged $9, and it's going to cost $6.22. We sold a couple $30 or $40 ones, but really the banana guy is the main one. Um, we could have sold them all as a set. Um, you know, that was... Um, something we could have done but my son does the research and 
So I'm thinking he felt like it was better to piece it out. But yeah, just even just this one paid him back for it and he's made all his money on the others. I need to go in and see how many we have left. He was going to take my phone and edit all of his stuff yesterday, but we just didn't have time. Um, he has his own eBay account, so I don't let him log. Well, he doesn't want to either. We know good and well enough not to log into each other's eBay accounts. So when we're together, he just uses my phone. Now, this is a great sale. This is a pair of Kira Grace pants. I need you to see this word because uh, these are a pickup. Definitely Kira Grace I can't remember where I got these, but they're wide leg, so they're definitely in style right now. No more tapered pants for me until I hear Jack Valentine tell me that I can go back to buying tapered pants to sell. I listen to them a lot. I listen to a ton of people because I don't have that kind of style. Like, I can't just follow the trends. I need somebody to help me. That's just the truth of it. I'm not super stylish myself. I don't follow fashion magazines for sure, as you can probably tell. So uh, I listen to all these YouTubers who sell on eBay, and I listen to what they say the trends are, which is bad. I should learn it myself. But anyway, I've only had these listed for, what, a, what a week or two? August 1st, so four days, actually. And um, these sold for $42.99 plus shipping, so $44.00. Um, they did use promoted listings and my 27% off coupon, so $44 all in. All right, guys, that's my last one. I'm going to go uh, get this Nutrisystem stuff all um, packaged, and I will ship it and give them their refund. This is going to Henderson, Nevada. I charge $9.99. It's going to cost $8.30. So you will see me back. It has to be today because I've got to get my life cleaned up. So uh, th no more empty promises. I promise you will get a uh, haul video if you're interested today. I think there's some good stuff in there. A lot of it's stuff I'm buying at the consignment stores with my consignment cash. So I think that's interesting to see. And uh, so I will see you back on in, it'll probably be the end of the day. I've got, I, I don't even have room in here right now to do it. It's so messy. All right, see you later, guys. Thanks for um, watching. If you don't mind, give me a like. Uh, it would help me a lot. Bye-bye.